Hello friends, today in this video I will talk about uh, white collar people living in the society. What are the kinds of white collar people? This is English language learning channel and uh, you should watch uh, videos on different kind of topics to improve your English language, to understand the English language. Motivational videos to get the inspiration from others. I think that it is very necessary for you. So today's topic is the white collar people of the society. Uh, there are uh, different kinds uh, of white collar uh, people. There are some extremely white collar people. Those are who people understand them that they are good. Their style is, their wearing is, their discussion is, each and everything is very good and perfect. And others are understanding Others are thinking that this person is well established, well established, very good living style. When they speak, they have the confidence on their face. But others don't know that in the back mind there are so many worries, there are so many tensions. For example, I'm giving you the example, I'm making this video. I'm looking quite well. I'm doing my hard work with great enthusiasm. You can check the list of my uh, videos uploaded on this channel. More than 200 videos and uh, searching the topic for those videos. Making yourself uh, to speak English language while living in a non-native countries when you have never traveled to any countries where the first language is English language. When you don't have the experience of uh, English learning, while living in a backward area, when you make yourself able to speak English language, the credit will go to you. But when you will speak English language, speaking the English language does not mean that uh, you are a rich person. Speaking with confidence does not mean that you are a rich person. Wearing the good clothes does not mean that you are a rich person. Perhaps the clothes you are wearing are borrowed by someone. Perhaps the shoes you are wearing are given to you by someone else. So I think that don't judge the people by their outer self. Inner self might be different. I have seen in the society that uh, some people speak lie and people, other people trust them. But uh, those who speak truth about themselves, people don't uh, trust on them. People think that uh, perhaps they are lying. I think that uh, society has become for liars, those who lie each and every time and those who speak the truth lose the trust of others. So I have seen in the society so many white collars people. Those uh, looks very good. Those look very good and uh, people are not supporting them. Instead of supporting those extremely white collar peoples, they are supporting to those uh, who are a little good. Because uh, some people say that uh, when you are poor, then everybody look you with the criticize I with a false eye. When you are rich, whatever you say will be accepted by everyone. But when you are poor, there, there will be no, right now I am speaking, if I am speaking the right English, but I am the poor person, I am giving the example, other will not appreciate me. 
if I am the very strong rich person, I am speaking the wrong English, I am raving, others will appreciate me, wow, wow, very good, nice, you are a wonderful person, you are a nice person. So I don't like the flattering, whenever I pray for others, I pray from my heart. I never try to flatter other people. If I appreciate, I appreciate them in real sense, not flatter them to get some benefits from others. No. Sometimes I share my uh, inner self thinking with others only with those who are good. When I uh, understand that this person is good, then I share my personal things with others. Otherwise, I don't share my personal things with everybody. So I have the pain in my heart whenever I see the people in distress, in pain. I could not, I cannot do anything for them because I myself, if I myself not able to uh, support them, then it is very difficult for you that by seeing the faces of other people, you can understand what the problem that person is facing. This is the very good quality, God-given quality, that uh, by seeing the environment, by seeing the people, you can judge the problems of that person. And this quality is given to very less people by God. And if you get this quality, you are a very nice person of the world, very nice person of the society, right now, in this present era. Because everybody is busy in, in their own work, in their own deeds. No one is caring about others. But uh, I think that in underdeveloped countries, people are facing a lot of problems. They have the talent, but they don't have the opportunities. They are searching the opportunities. They want to show their talent. They are willing to work, but opportunities, platform is not available then I think it is very difficult for them to survive. So I think that well-established people, those have the eye of understanding, seeing others in proper way, should support others people, those are talented people, those want to increase their talent on international level, support them, encourage them. In this way, I think that developing countries would progress. Otherwise, if uh, we demoralize the talented people, they would not do the right things, the right jobs where they are mastering. They would do the wrong things, the job where they, they are not interested in. They will do that. In this way, they will lose the interest. They will not uh, work with uh, devotion. And this will be the problem for the society. So I think uh, that uh, look around you, wherever, wherever you are living, look around you in your friend circle, in your interested field. There are so many people who are needy, who require your support, support them without any kind of discrimination, caste, creed, religion, territory, male, female, without any discrimination, support them. When you will support others, automatically I think that uh, things will become better for you. Because God helps those who help themselves. I think that uh, you should do work for the betterment of humanity. If you are serving the mankind, then I think that you are delivering the good message in the world. And you will get the reward in this world and after the world, hereafter. So I think that you would get a message from my this video and uh, you would look around yourself in your friend circle, in your uh, interested field circle, in your uh, relatives, in your community, in your uh, state. Support those people who are talented and uh, 
who want to do something for the betterment of the society. Hope you find this video useful. In next video, I will talk about some other subject. Till then, allow me. Before leaving, please subscribe this channel so that you never miss our other videos. I am Taf Malik and you are watching me on my English language channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.